And welcome back to Career Build Series, episode 188. And so we're up here at the Iron Mountain, and we're going to start working here. Um, I want to get this trailer filled. Had an issue with a uh, trailer where the pistons were connecting, so I just had to uh, run a new trailer up. So um, that hopefully has been fixed. Let's start mining. I'd like to fill that up and get going here. So we start cracking rocks. Um, these should take me just a second to crack out, seeing I don't know how much these have... Um, regenerated and then we'll start moving down the mountain as necessary to um you know to get some more and so uh, we'll start doing that hopefully we can fill that up i'd like to go get moving on this i'm gonna have to move another trailer out um you know again i did have an issue with uh pistons on that new trailer um connecting to one another so they're faked anyway so um yeah i kind of had to deal with those so let's go ahead and put this bucket down set the brake and we'll start um, drilling. All right. So I turned down the uh, environmental sounds as much as possible. The wind is constantly high up here, so it, um, you know, listening back is pretty loud, so. All right, so let's go ahead and jump and we'll grab that. Again, like I said, these are pretty much depleted. They're uh, on, they're regenerating, but they're taking a minute to do so. So we'll let these fully uh, replenish themselves. Trying to get where the camera will work. Okay, there we go. That should be a good ore over to our, over this side here. I don't, a good pile of ore. This one here, I don't think I've hit at all. So uh, I think I'm going to just leave those other two. I think the rock count is so low that it's not really worth hitting. So... There we go. Um, let's check the bucket on the way by, see how many we're running. 16 in there. So yeah, that uh, these are regenerating They're pretty slow, which is good. You know, I like I said, there's so much ore down below that don't really need to, um, you know, I don't want to stay in the same spot the whole time. I want to have to move, and so this is kind of cool that I have to move and, um, you know, end up cracking rocks different places, and we have to make vehicles that can easily get up and down into the quarry so that's um i kind of like that as a feature okay it's working really well this system of mining so i'm pleased with the performance move a little bit to the left here so try to get most of it in front of the bucket You know, kind of look a third person. As you can see, you can see the uh, the ore vein shrinking. So I'm going to shut the drill off and I'll actually um, scoop it now. I don't want to lose all this ore because I'm being too greedy and uh, not accounting for the time it will take to get it all. So we have 17 in there now. Let's see what this pass will grab us. Okay, let's back it up. All right, so this uh, with this stuff working so well now, with me getting kind of a rhythm going here of how to do it properly, um, you know, I don't really need to make a scraper yet, or you know, I, to keep me interested. This will uh, do a lot of good mining for a while. I re was really afraid that after building these, you know, spending a week on each one, pretty much, and still refining to be done, that they were going to end up not actually working in game, and they're working really well. So that. Um, that's really happy. I'm really happy with that. That makes uh, makes it nice that uh, you know I don't have to completely abandon anything, um, and they're working well and they um, you know are realistic. So I don't want to have to go to you know some unrealistic type of vehicles just to uh, or unconventional designs just to try it because often the un un oh, come on man uh, I knew that was going to be an issue here. Let's back it up. I need to pick the bucket up. Oh, I'm screwing this all up here. Kind of funky on this hill here. Um, the other thing, too, is with these respawning and with so many ore, I don't need to be precious about missing rocks. If they disappear, you know, that was one of my fears with the short timers was that, um, you know, you were going to get annoyed if you miss some rocks, but I don't think I really care as, um, you know, they're... 
it's it's pretty easy to go get more. So in the event that I miss some, it's not um, the end of the world. All right, so let's uh, repo. Let's find a good spot here to reposition to. Um, and I'll count my, I'll look at my bucket. So I'm trying to, want to be careful going down the spiral here. I don't know exactly where I can go. So right here is uh, is the ramp. So let's go ahead and first person, let's drive to the ramp. I'm actually going to dump this. There's no point in me bucketing all this down and then, um, you know, bucking it back up when I need to um, dump in the truck. The truck will come down. Um, you know, I'm having a little bit of issues on hills with the Mac R. It's not bad, but um, the pinnacle is a little bit stronger. So I need to uh, work on that a little bit. The R is a much older truck, so I'm kind of RPing it a little bit, but um, we'll see how that turns out. There we go. Oh, you know what I bet I have set up why that screwed up? I bet I have toggle on my seat. I would bet you toggle set to my seat, so I'll have to work on the uh, loader bucket at some point. Alright, so 88 ore in there, so that's not a bad haul. Let's go ahead and close this. Yeah, it's doing that thing where it doesn't want to close. Oh, okay, so it's definitely I have toggle on my seat because I press 3 and it shut right away, so that's it. So it's, I forgot to set those uh, from toggles to push, so... Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and go down, down into the uh, mine, into the big open pit mine, and we will go ahead and we'll start mining down there. So this is kind of nice as, you know, um, we hit the really easy vein access. I'm just going to look over the top so I don't end up running down the hill. Okay. Um, we hit the really easy vein right off the bat, and so from there on we're going to have to work a little bit more for our ore. You know, I, I doubt this, you know, even if you had a lot of people running this mine, um, I would say, you know, the upper elements will regenerate well before you need to worry about running out. And then let's say even if we depleted this whole mine, which is, I would say, highly unlikely, um, you know, we have things like aluminum and gold. I'd like to get into gold at some point. Um, if you look, we're going third person here. You can see there's, an, there's a piece up on the um, on the wall there. I don't know if I can reach that, but we're going to hit these. So I'm going to get set up with the loader, and then I'll bring the excavator down. So kind of cool down here. And so let's get turned around and see this all some on the wall there. So this is cool how they did this. I like this... Um, there's very few complaints. You know, my my initial complaint of they should have made it up to five minutes, I don't even think I really... That's not too much of a complaint anymore. You see how fast the drill is drilling? Um, my issue is probably that I was using the drill too slow, and that's not even a large motor. Um, I wouldn't go with a large motor, but, um, you know, I don't really need to go any faster than this, and this is working well, and I'm kind of going at a leisurely pace, and, you know, if I miss some rocks, just go to the next vein. It's really not a big deal. All right, I'm going to head on up with uh, no clip up to the excavator, because watching me go up there is going to be boring. So let's go ahead, and we'll straighten out the tracks. We'll raise our arm up a little bit. We'll kind of get set up in a driving position, and we'll switch to tracks, and we'll get going. So really happy with how my builds are working now. You know, they had some growing pains a little bit, trying to figure out how the game mechanics going to go. You know, I did start the excavator, what, two weeks before the, um, you know, uh, the DLC came out and the front end loader, um, you know, the week right before. And so, you know, kind of going in a little bit blind and not knowing what they were going to um, look like and how things are going to function, and yet did a pretty good job of getting them where they needed to be. And so that was, you know, my big fear was, you know, spend all this time on these two machines and then realize, oh, they're not going to work. And so we'll just kind of head down. First person I, I know is a little tough in this. I like doing some first person stuff, so that's why I'm in and out. But um, 
you know, this has that safety cage on it, so it's kind of restricted view. So I like to operate this in first person, um, you know, but I do like to switch back and forth so you guys can kind of see the outside of it. But I think it's a good-looking good looking vehicle. Um, heading on down, you know, this has no problem traversing this area. Again, I do have infant electricity on, but that shouldn't be a problem. That's mostly that I need to fill these up with, uh, fix a couple things. There's some bad connections. Um, just some wrap the builds up and, you know, it takes me so much time to set up all my vehicles to get up here that, um, until I really have enough of accumulation of, you know, things to do to a vehicle, I don't want to send it back down the mountain. Um, you know, last time I sent the excavator down, there was really a, you know, it was, the excavator couldn't really do its job with the, um, with the motors it had effective, an, to be effective enough that I decided that it was a good time to send it back down to get fixed. And, um, you know, so once uh, I think, you know, it's time to move out of here, well, you know, that's probably when I'll do the next fix. So why is this my right track? I'm trying to turn right here. I can kind of use the... Um, so let me try stopping this track altogether. I'm trying to get me myself turned here, and I can't. I'm kind of like swinging the bucket using the inertia to kind of move my tracks, but there we go. So I kind of unstuck the track by moving the, the uh, by rotating, and that helped. All right, so here we are. Let's uh, see if I can't get a good picture, too. I like to try to get a picture for the episode early that way, because I often forget, very often forget, and so i uh, rather get that kind of early. So I'm liking... Uh, Operating these vehicles, they're fun to operate and um, you know, a little bit unique. I'm starting to get the hang of them where they're not, uh, they're kind of second nature and I, you know, feel like I know how to how to work them. I get a little bit of a, there we go. Trying to get a little picture here just so we have one. All right, so let's go ahead and start drilling this out. And I'll kind of move closer to the bucket that way. Um, I don't have to turn as much when they um, when it fills or when it finishes. Yeah, it moves too fast. I can't really push the rocks either. All right, so there's a good good set there. Let's try to scoop those up. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, try to grab this one from first person, see if I can get them all. Okay, so I can definitely hear the noise of it filling. Which is kind of cool. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. I need a... Just trying to get the hang of this. Um, I need to tap the brake more, and then the steering is still a little wonky, so I need to fix the steering. See, like I'm holding hard over, so I need to fix that. That's again, these are the kind of things. They're not really terrible, but they're a little bit of a pain enough to me that next time I can fix them, I'm going to. See, we're already losing chunks there, and I'm trying to. Oh my god, I'm just missing them all now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm not fast enough on the brake, so like I need to do a brake there and then already be pressing forward to kind of reset the speed on it. And then that's, okay, so they're gone now. I kind of need to set up my bucket a little bit faster. So all these things are just um, things to change my method. Also, when I was, I hope these funnels are not on. I bet the funnels are on. Which, um, let me see if it's dropping. Yeah, the, this is dropping ore, so... Let's see what's up. Yeah, that's three. Yeah, it's definitely on toggle, which isn't good. But I need to change these. Um, they should be pushes, definitely. So hopefully, see, it's, I don't know if this is a bug or what, that it's still going or something with my design. 
Can we try one more scoop on this one? If I have issues, I'm going to recall this and do a little work on it, and then we'll go do something else. Then off screen, I'll move it. Yeah, every time I have an issue, I tend to try to move it off screen. That, uh, you know, it would be me transporting up here 20 times. So. All right, we'll stop there. Yeah, see, it's making that constant noise. I was having issues with that before. It's making the constant dumping noise, so... Something with my design. Uh, dump bucket six. Uh, that's probably old. But I need to look at it. I don't know what's up with that. So I need to look at my controls and see why. See, I'm like... Can't see what I'm doing here. Camera's not really helping me here. Oh. Well, my steering's a mess, so um, I think we should go back and work on this a little bit. This is just going to be pain trying to get this to um, function properly, I think. And I need to also make it so that when I get out of the seat, it automatically sets the brake. That's going to be dangerous at ending up down in the uh, ravine, so I need to do that. So I had to do a bunch of uh, retrofitting here. Maybe we'll hold off. I think I'm um, actually kind of... This is holding some now. It's just after I dump it, I have to be kind of careful. So steering needs to be fixed. The bucket um, controls need to be fixed. I have some electrical issues that are causing me problems where I have to run with infant electricity. So wrap those up. Um, you know, but I, like I said before, I think it's in the 90-something 90, 90 percentage of being complete. Um, and that makes it nice so that it will function well. You know, I've been talking about building that scraper, and that's kind of just a, um, kind of also just kind of another cool pet project to work on uh, vehicle-wise. I've kind of been thinking of some cool cool ways to make that, um, you know, a neat vehicle. I want it to have its own advantages, disadvantages, like, you know, it should be slow, and it should be cumbersome, um, and hard to transport, and, uh, but, you know, it's a little bit more efficient. So I've been thinking of a bunch of systems, um, you know, I used to love to play farm and sim, and so some agricultural systems that I think are really cool that, um, you know, some of the forage harvesters, so kind of do so add some elements of that, like, uh, you know, somebody made a mod for farming sim that was like a hook lift forage harvester um, that you essentially drop your hopper, and then it can be um, picked up by a, a truck or a tractor to go up. So I was thinking something like that would be cool. So just kind of thinking of different designs. You know, some people in the community have made some cool stuff. Uh, Chickasaur has made a cool little miner and a train. And so, you know, it's kind of neat. I've been sticking a little bit to the uh, more realistic stuff, kind of, you know, and I'd like to kind of keep that up. But um, some of my own little designs in there, I, you know, one of the notions with, taking, with doing the scraper is essentially kind of convert the shape and function the shape of the of the scraper and then just kind of um convert it a little bit more where it functions with mining as well so okay so this is nice because this really works well for uh mining because the um, ability for me to um, put the arm where i want it and so that lets me lay a pile of the ore where i want it and because i can lay the pile of ore where i want it it makes it pretty easy, actually, for me to, um, you know, set up, like, right here. I'll show you what I mean. So I can press 1, shut this off. I can quickly rotate out. And now I'm completely out of the way, and the loader just has to go straight ahead to um, to grab rock. I don't want to walk through the pile because I physically can kick them, and then that's me being a pain. So Nice. So that's working beautifully. Oh. Grab that one. Yep, just a little turn, and we're there. So, like, see how I can kind of hang off the side and still make this work? So that's really cool. Um, makes it pretty simple. So, like, I'm going to set up here a little bit, and I'm going to kind of come forward. And I want to come straight, and then I'm going to put the arm right back in front. So just working on my procedures and my methods really cut down the time of, um, 
how long it takes me to do this, um, how efficient I am. So, you know, that was kind of a big thing is get the, uh, you know, and you can't do that until you really, you know, kind of learn how the mechanics of mining work. And so a lot of testing, but the tests are, are proving fruitful and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the mining. This is a really great DLC for me. I'm, I'm loving this kind of industrial stuff and so many ideas of things to build and that's for me that's huge is the building of course is number one for me and so it's um you know i, I can create my own narratives i understand a lot of people want a little bit more of a um, narrative driven game but like you know i'm enjoying creating my own narratives that one right there always on the side of the bucket oh yeah you can see this working really well so it appears that you know a lot of my issues with the loader are um, in the bucket, at least, are that I forgot to set things to toggle, and so they're... I set, for, forgot to set them to push, and they're set to toggle, so... I just need to kind of remember that until I fix it, and then once I fix it, it will function how I wanted it to. But, you know, I was curious if, if you were going to have to move around all in the ore area. You don't have to. You can leave this sitting in, in the place, and it will suck up all of this. So it essentially is, if you're within, you know, the sphere of influence... It's just allowing you to deposit them straight on the ground there. So it's pretty easy. Um, you know, and I don't have to, like, go all the way around here and then try to move and scoop and move and scoop. I was kind of um, drilling around in erratic patterns, thinking that I had to do that initially. And now, you know, I can go pretty straight. Oh, still dropping rocks, which I don't like. Get in there, you. I need to drop all my tools, so don't have to move but again you know I'm being a little bit too precious with trying not to miss a single piece of ore I really don't have to there's just plenty down here like look at it we could be here for a thousand years here so I really don't need to be precious with it which is also nice that kind of you know you see that that vein is already popping in behind that we already hit all right and so I can kind of um I don't have to worry if I miss a rock here or there. I don't have to worry if I miss a whole bucket load. It's not a big deal. Just move to the next ore. And so that was something that I was kind of being way too precious with and trying to hit every last one and get every little bit. I um, really don't need to or want to do that. I kind of just not. So the area of grab, as you can see, I can go even higher. The just It stacks them higher, so it still pushes me up. But it's not a big deal. And again, when we were running our tests with um, the electrical generation, I had no problem, um, you know, especially doing it this way, where I surge it on, it used up about 25% of my electricity, and then, you know, it would be running their recharge. And the reason you don't hear them running is because I have infinite electricity on for some of the mistakes that I made. Uh, but once that's running, you know, I don't need to, uh, you know, like by the time I get back in there, that should be back at 100%. And so I don't really have to worry about running completely out of battery. Uh, you know, I'll set a condition eventually on the drill where if it gets below, say, I don't know, 30%, it automatically shuts the drill off, you know, so that it um, forces me to recharge. You know, and I've just been leaving the generators on because the generators will self-shut off. And so I don't have to worry about burning up the fuel. I just I le can leave everything on. I don't have to worry about anything accidentally running out of juice when I'm up here and have, having to tow them out. I can kind of, uh, you know, by running them as generators, that works. All right, so let's get this. This one here is a little bit precarious. Uh, I'll grab that. We'll keep moving down the spiral. So eventually what I want to do is I want to get these suckers, you know, I don't know if I go all the way in, but eventually I'm going to want to switch to a different type of mining. But, um, you know, one thought I had was um, I could, say, reserve these two pieces of equipment for iron mining and that's their job is iron mining and then say make my scraper for um aluminum mining you know and then make a different Ooh, look at that that is scary uh let's get a pick of this this is precarious as all hell see i can't really see the contrast there of that yeah it doesn't really the precarious nature of it doesn't show oh <laughs> i do have another door on the other side which would have been wise to just get out of that door but um you know, so it'd be kind of cool to, have, to use different uh, pieces of equipment for different types of mining, which is, you know, also pretty realistic because, you know, 
different methods. So we're still, you know, every type we're still drilling, you know, with the same equipment. So it'd be kind of neat for me to have different machines. So this is my gold, you know, equipment. This is my iron equipment, um, you know, my aluminum equipment. So that'd be kind of cool, I think. Kind of segregate my uh, different machines. And that way too is I don't have to transpose things. Like I could leave these up here and then go, um, you know, spawn a different vehicle to do aluminum. So this is actually pushing it into the bucket too, I think, kind of. Me helping it, I don't know if that's the best idea. It's kind of, uh, you know, this is getting, sitting up on the pile nicely and then I kind of pull it out from under it. But So we're at 308. I think 375 is full. So um, I'm going to kind of check that and we'll let's stop this and let's go ahead and grab and uh, we'll be close to full here if we're not already. Let the last couple. So it's actually spawning the rocks in the drill and then they're physically falling out, which is kind of cool to me that they actually did it that way. All right. Let's be safe here. Safety is first. Don't want to fall down um, and hurt myself. I think I still have player damage off, and I'm just again doing that for I don't know, you know, what issues I'm going to have. So, kind of erring on the side of caution. 336. So let's drill some more. Try to get right up to 375 here. But I'm really uh, I'm having a blast with this DLC. This is this is great. You know, it's. Uh, I was looking forward to fishing, but I don't think I would have as much fun with fishing. It would, you know, it would kind of be a, you know, you think about it, we wouldn't have another landmass, uh, you know, which is, there goes the exploring, you know, we had dogs in this one, we had so much stuff in this one that um, animals, and then, you know, with the new zombie event, that really s screams to me subtext of some AI changes. So let's go ahead and let's park this, uh, make sure my brake's on. The other reason I like having a brake on when you get out is it automatic. It kind of makes it so you don't have to worry about it. I am doing a lot of no clipping. That's going to happen just because you definitely don't want to see me walking up and down this all day. It's going to be mighty boring if I'm constantly up and down. And I have the wind. I have the volume set down all the way. Let me know if the if the wind noise bothers you. I can completely shut it off. Um, you know, sometimes I listen back, and to me, the wind is very quiet. It's down to 2% for environmental sounds, but, um, you know, if it's if the wind noise is being annoying, let me know, and I can, uh, I can kill that. You know, it's just, when you're up at altitude like this, it's constant, and it's kind of, I can see it kind of being a little bit annoying in the background. And so let's make a turn through here. Yeah, I didn't know how much of a drop off that was, so I'm just kind of being a little careful. This should have plenty of clearance. This was designed to be an off road trailer. You see how, like, where the landing gear is and how the fifth wheel set up that as it goes over a, a, a mound or a hill, it pretty much lifts the landing gear up and over like it would in real life. And so, like I said, I had an issue with these trailers um, right after I left you guys last episode. I uh, spawned it back in, and the trailer went uh, crazy and flipped over because the, um, just because the, uh, what do you call it, the two pistons that are even faked to tip the bed, they, uh, they were trying to attach to one another despite some of my things to, to make that not happen, and so... Um, I'm going to try to not, we'll see how this functions here. Why? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Why? Okay. I was pressing the Jake brake and which was slowing me down, but it wasn't doing that much. So again, moving from vehicle to vehicle, let's, uh, go ahead and drop that drop axle. It's another kind of a cool piece here is that drop axle going down. So that's good. So this is going to be our next drilling site. So I, I'm going to kind of take the loader and 
dump into the trailer, and then we'll move the excavator, and we'll be over there already. So kind of just moving to my next work site. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Driving way too fast here. There we go. Could put a speed limiter on this. Since you just, uh, you know, it would read zero to the motor when I go over a certain speed. So it would let me ask for more speed, but it wouldn't actually allow it. Kind of come up with a method here, too. I usually don't do these forward backs. I usually make it so I have to go into reverse. Um, I may still do that, where I actually forward is always motion, and then I have to actually reverse it. So kind of just I'll check my alignment again with hard to get perception sometimes in game. You get a little bit better at it in real life and you can use things like shadows. So like I have to press three and then press three. I... Yep. There we go. So that dumps pretty fast. That was three something. Uh, we weren't quite at 375 I don't think because we we're still picking up rocks. But um... So I'll be up in the uh, 500s, 500 territory. So while that's dumping, I'm going to go and move my excavator. So I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. And so doing things like moving the excavator while that's dumping instead of just sitting there and watching it will help me speed my process up. So we have this next set here. I'm going to use the brake on this one as well. Yeah, rotate up. All right, there we go. So we are now set and have good reach on this. All right, there we go. And we should be pretty set on the loader. So let's check to see if this is actually finished. Um, still makes the noise. Uh, if the funnel's open, you actually aren't dumping anything. So I kind of have to uh, check it. Let's see the volume of what we have in there. Again, should probably be in the 500 something. Nope, oh, 4 something. Okay. All right, so let's hit 3, 4 based on the position here. I'm trying to remember how I have this set up to work. Still making that noise. There we go. All right, so this is coming along nicely. Toys are working well, enjoying this. Up, up, up. Hit the stuff. Let's see. And let's see if we have a mission or something as well. Kind of would like to diversify gameplay a little bit here. That is. I think. Uh, what are we doing here? All right. Let's do this. I think I'm going to take a little break from this. It's hard to get a good picture because it's just you have the kind of the black wall of the rim of the canyons about it. All right, so let's do this. We're going to take a little break. And um, I want to go and this should help finish up the episode. And kind of want to do a mission of some sort. So let me, um, I'm going to be bad, teleport again. You know, again, this is, you know, with the new vast area, there's no point watching me just traverse areas. So Kind of do a mission here, and then, um, you know, kind of break it up a little bit. Do a little something different. So we sleep on our couch here. Black and white boat requires servicing in the in, in the ocean. I don't think I want to do that. I really want a force fire is what I want. See, that would be <laughs> not doing that one. That's just not what I'm trying to do right now, I'll tell you that.
Are you actually sleeping? Yep, we are. Uh, extinguish all fires, rescue two casualties of the hospital. Right there. Uh, green camper van has emergency. Extinguish all fires. Okay, so that's kind of a neat piece of terrain. Uh, let's go ahead and do that one, and we'll see where that gets us. Uh, two people. So Vistla is going to come with us. I think we will take... Uh, let's take... What do you have? Uh, we're low on fuel here, so let's move myself. Again, just the vast distances really require this. Let's grab the hummingbird, I think. There we go. Weird kind of spawning here, but the reason I'm spawning here is that I don't have any fuel in that hangar. I need to transpose some fuel there, and so... I've yet to make a little fuel trailer. There we go. That was just from me dropping it from the sky. Go ahead and open up the bird. So the bird, if we remember, has lugs now, so it can um, attach to Triton. Let's go ahead and put Visla, who I probably don't have on me anymore. Nope, when I teleported, Visla stayed. All right. Or flew. Um, that's fine. Get out of here. Up, up, up. Not meaning to do any of that. There we go. Alright, so did I set a waypoint? Oh, of course I did not. I keep almost clicking on teleport. You can tell how much I've been using teleport lately. All right, uh, what's the heading is, bearing 2 is 250, is that altitude? Heading hold 250. Also kind of learning where the mountains are here, so 500 feet is about as low as I want to go. So let's go ahead and start putting the wings down, and then we'll go into a turn once we get going here. Now I chose to do this just because it's nice and fast. So good to get the hummingbird back in game. Yep, dropping stuff. Yeah, it's good to get the hummingbird back in game. Nice and fast. Good to do some rescues. Um, enjoying the mining, but you know it's it's good to break up the monotony with a little something different. See how big of a circle we're turning here. I'm gonna uh, take the autopilot off and hand fly a little bit here. I have it kind of set to a comfortable bank angle. Not too much pull on the pitch, and so I'm going to help it along here because I don't want it to take forever. What's we looking at here? A 237 heading, so I actually overcranked it. So 237. All right, here we go. So what's that? 238, 239. So we're doing well here. So I'll set us back to 238 in a second here. I have a big peak coming up ahead of me, so I'm just going to keep hand flying it for a bit here. And you see how quickly we're moving along. We're coming, actually coming over the mine. Let's see if I can see the mine. I think it's right over there. Yeah, it's right behind us there. We kind of went over it quickly in the haze. All right, so we're 237. Let's put that in. 237. What's our altitude presently? Ooh. Yeah, we definitely want some more altitude. Something on like 900 feet. Now put the autopilot back on. All right, good. I didn't throttle up either. That would be going a little bit faster, but we're not going slow by any stretch of the imagination. Two hundred something knots. So, uh, good, good vehicle to get going and doing some rescues. A little bit hazy. Kind of nice to see all the terrain, all the new areas. Go ahead and I'll turn on vehicle damage, player damage, NPC damage is on, infant electricity. I'll still leave on. I don't want any of my stuff to have problems at the moment until I fix them. So that's on my to-do list to do off-screen is kind of go through it. As I can fix some of those things off-screen, they're just oversights. And then when I get, um, oh, there we go. 
it took a lot of pro uh, took a lot of work and tuning to get it so I could just whip the wings up and not crash uh, or not have it freak out. Um, it took a bunch of work. So where are we at here? Um, there it is, right there. Okay, good. I have the gyro completely off. I can start putting zeros in here, and if I want to keep the gyro on, but this is pretty stable. I don't really need the gyro on. Like I have no gyro on here, and I'm flying fine. So, kind of back crack really well. So, up oh, there's a bear. See the bear? I do not know how the hell I'm gonna deal with that bear. Oh, I think I know how I'm gonna deal with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Third person's the death of me. I'm gonna try to look at this bear. That is hilarious. I'm gonna get this. Uh, this is picture time here. Come on, come on, come on. Go up, go up, go up. Pitch, 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 pitch. There, my prop pitch was taking like a hundred years to go. Look at that bear attacking that car. I'm gonna send this picture to all the people who keep saying there's no bears. I keep seeing this all over Reddit that people are saying there's no bears. I, I kind of wonder how long they've looked for them as I've seen multiple bears already. All right, let's get a good pick. This should be a cool pick here. There we go. That's hilarious, dude. That is a good pick. Dude, uh, okay, so I'm going to try to get this bear to... Uh, so I need to try to get this bear to, to aggro on me. So let's see if I can get this bear to aggro on me. He's after the people. Can't do anything until I get rid of him here. I don't want to shoot him. Can I just annoy him until he's like... So, can I hit him? <laughs> Hitting him with the wing here. Trying to just, trying to annoy him to, trying to get him to aggro on me so that he, um, and then I was going to get him to jump off the cliff and grab these people. I don't know how much he damages things. Let me kind of see. Oh, I should have brought small arms here. I've been thinking about carrying some small arms. I'm really not too keen on shooting animals, but, um. I want to be their friend. All right, let's put this down. Uh, let's set up a some sort of defensive strategy here. Right, is the brake on? I think the brake's on. Parking brake is on. It's just, again, grip is crap. Um, how fast are you, guy? He kind of seems like he's content to just run in place there. So, yeah. This is funny. I find this amusing. Can I get a fire extinguisher? There we go. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. So, I should be able to jump in the back of that van and be safe from the bear and then get that person. He's just after the van, it looks like, so. A little bit of an animal encounter there. I want to rescue the animals. I don't want to kill them. All right, let's try to make a valiant effort to grab this guy here without... Up, oh, the bear is after us now. The bear is after us. 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 Okay. He was, at, he was hitting that person. Ow! Fear. 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 Fear is in me here. We got the fear. Oof. We got the fear here. I thought I shut that door. I did not. Oh, he's after the he's after the hummingbird. The bear is after the hummingbird. Look at it. What are you doing, sir? Leave the hummingbird alone. Leave the bird alone, sir. Yeah, get lost, son. Get lost, son. What is going on here, man? Why are you after me? What did I do to you? Packing campers and everything else. Very, uh, very rude. Incredibly rude. Okay. So we got him done. A little bit of fear going on there. Let's see. Uh, where is the hospital? Post hospital. Um, we'll do this one just because it's on the way back to base. So 
kind of enjoy. I haven't been to this one either. I think set waypoint. Um, okay, haven't been to this one either. So that was interesting. The bear added a nice little dynamic there. Uh, Eighty-one. So let's go a thousand. These new peaks here are making it so that um, we do have to keep a little bit of altitude. You know, um, you know, I've been trying to keep fog and weather to a minimum just for you know it's tough to do the videos with um, when you can't see anything. But um, I would recommend people, you know, put on a little bit of weather here. Um, it's been uh, quite, quite interesting with all these peaks. Uh, if you're flying around and you have, you know, you're in pea soup, it's, um, you know, you have to be careful out here. All righty. So good little mission to do there. Enjoyed that. That was kind of a little bit something different. Nice to run into a bear there. Um, we were able, to, so he was after the person inside, so, uh, as soon as I snatched that person up, he came after us, so, I really don't want to have to shoot him. Uh, you know what would be cool, uh, addition? Trank gun. Tranquilize them, they just go incapacitated, and then they eventually, you know, either despawn or, um, or something. Alright, what's my heading now? Bearing 272. 72 please thank you check this mountain I saw the mountain out of the corner of my eye and it kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies there for a second I think this might be the last nope we got another large peak on the other side um, coming over the lake here or this uh, inlet be really cool getting Triton up into these um, coves and everything got a park and Triton in one of these coves I don't know how deep they are Really looking forward to some fire mission, some firefighting missions. I uh, some forest fire missions. Um, I had them, I've had them on in our last save too, and I wasn't getting any. So I have yet to get any here. So I'm curious what's up. Are we there yet? Okay, we're uh, right there. So let's go down. So I have the autopilot back off here. I'm going to hand fly it the rest of the way in. I'm just not going to go in third person. Third person's ugly for me hand flying. We went to the other hospital. Not that they're that dissimilar, but um, you know, this one will be good to go to. Start trying to zero these out. So this could use kind of an update on my, you know, my autopilot methodology that I kind of use in the old system. And it's, um, see, like, I can't keep that gyro on, so it's like I'm having to look away, and it's kind of being a pain where I, uh, you know, my, kind of my new methodology is a little bit better, I think. Try not to crash here. It's because of the way that the pitch works on this aircraft, it's super slow. Come on, pitch, 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 pitch. You see how slow the pitch takes sometimes? I have to put in negative pitch to descend. And so it um, I need a lot cram a lot of negative pitch in there to descend and it's just it takes me a second to do it where the, the pids are much faster than I can do it. And let's go up on the oh, wrong way. Come on, go up, go up, go up, go up. I pressed up. Oh my god. Struggling to fly here. There is a good bit of wind. What's the wind on? Yeah, 36%. It's a, it's enough to be a, a pain. Just shut that engine off so it's not screaming at us the whole time. Haven't had any sort of uh, temperature problems at all. They did, you know, it was a very minor um, temperature increase they did. So, you know, everybody and their brother was afraid of that. And it uh, turned out to be a non-issue. So... But, you know, I could say part of it probably is the devs probably listening that people were kind of worried about it. And I think they're, they're, they know that cooling is kind of difficult. So cooling is involved. Let's put it that way. You, you need to do cooling right. You need to kind of understand the mechanics of it. You know, it helps if you follow a guide. And then if you do that, um, it makes cooling much easier. And you can uh, effectively cool. Like this, the hummingbird doesn't have a ton of cooling and has no problems. 
Don't, don't keep following me. You live there now. You cannot come back to my mining operation unless you wish to drill. All right, so I think we'll end it there. Um, that was a fun mission. Uh, good to see the bear. Good to uh, get some mining done. Starting to work through the, the kinks and the weird um, little quirks of all my builds up the mining operation. And kind of knocking knocking some of those issues down. And so I think we're, um, we're making good progress here. And so I think uh, that's a good place to leave it. And I, I don't know what we're going to do in the next episode. We'll kind of play it by ear, what I'm feeling at the time. Um, I'd like to get um, a load of iron out there and then maybe get back into Triton a little or something. But I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I'm kind of playing it by ear. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.